Hello, I'm here to explain on how to authenticate your Apple computer 10.5 or 10.4 to a Windows Direct Active Directory controller server. To do this, you need to do the following. First, you need to go to your utilities folder on your either Mac server or client. Once in the utilities folder, you then need to click the directory utility application here. This application allows you to authenticate with other systems. It means you can have such facilities as Active Directory Authentication or LDAP Authentication or Open Directory Authentication. As you can see on mine, this is currently an Open Directory server. Now, first you need to authenticate by clicking the padlock here. Then you'll be asked for a password. Once authenticated, the padlock will then open. Now, first we're going to we're going to add the computer to the Active Directory, bind it other sense. If you click the plus icon here, you'll then be presented with this box. If you click the top box here and then select Active Directory, this will then bring the appropriate properties to be able to add your computer to your Active Directory domain controller. So for example, we're going to use a false domain so domain dot com now obviously it's going to be different for everyone else um, also you have your computer ID this is what you want Active Directory to recognize your computer as so for this example I'm calling this Mac server now you're going to need an Active Directory username and password which has access to be able to bind to the domain controller this has to be either a domain admin or an enterprise admin account once done then click OK as long as all's gone well, you'll then appear in this box here. Due to not having a domain controller running at the moment, I'm unable to demonstrate this. That is how you authenticate or add your, your OSX installation to an Active Directory domain controller.